I am Master Serafis Bey, and I come here again to bring guidance, to bring guidance to all beings who want to follow the straight path of the spiritual plane. The path that we are always showing you is a path that has no shortcuts, no detours, no alternative ways to follow the path of light. The path that we are always showing you is a straight path. It is a path that serves only the light. When you allow yourselves to have the truth in your lives, when you allow yourselves to neglect your lives, when you allow yourselves to bring into yourselves doubts, frictions, all the forms of untruths that everyone here already knows, but still holds in your lives. Because you all still hold these beliefs that are all these ill-fated energies. When you still have add these energies into your lives, I tell you that you are on a totally different path. You are not on this straight path that we are pointing you to. When you still carry illusions, when you still carry a sense that you say here, a critical sense towards any situation, towards any person, it doesn't matter. Because many times you are in this system of surveillance on yourself and you don't realize that the surveillance that you carry out on yourself is within this critical sense. It is within a self-criticism. So, see what is the path that you are walking. You are walking this warped path, this alternative path. But you are not going within the path of love, within the path of light. Because all of us who are here on the spiritual plane have only the energy of love. We don't carry any other energy than that of love. Because we live in the truth. We live only the truth. We do not see, as you would say here, anything but the truth. But you still insist on seeing friction, on seeing lack, on seeing difficulties. Many times you say you are only observing, but look within your being. There is not, I will say, a watching, a light look. There is not a loving look. There is not a look, simply a look. It is not simply an observing. When you observe a beggar, for example, on the street, many times you think that you are not generating any feeling here inside. Often what happens? You simply refuse to look because you think that if you just don't look, you are not making any judgments. You are not generating any weight in your being. But when you look at that being and see a difference between what you and him are experiencing, you are generating a judgment. You may think that you are not. You may think you are just observing. But you have perceived the difference. And that's what I tell you, that many times you don't realize when you are inside this critical sense because you don't realize when you are generating differences inside each one of you. Many times you think it is compassion. Many times you are emanating, wanting to emanate an energy to that being. When you want to emanate this energy to that being, you have seen the difference. If you hadn't seen the difference, why do you think it would be necessary to emanate an energy to him? Because you just didn't respect him. You have seen the difference. And look, these little things that you do without realizing it, because you think you are doing an attitude of love, is going to bring energetic build-ups in your being. Because there are attitudes that you do because of your beliefs. So, when you do what you think is a loving act, 
you have reinforced your belief because you saw the difference. So, see that these are perceptions that you have to develop. These are insights that are gained through a practice. These are insights that are acquired through self-knowledge. Many think they are generous people. Many think that everything they do for others is out of love. If you do it out of love, you see no differences. You simply perform it without any pretense, without any logic, without any rational thought. It simply emanates within you. It was not done in any way, I would say, on purpose. So, all these that I'm pointing out to you today is for you to develop insights, insights of yourself. Because today, I will say, very distorted acts, let's put it in this way, you are no longer performing. Because you already have an awareness of what is true and what is untrue. But many times, even in order not to perform these acts, you are criticizing yourselves. And it is this perception that I ask you to develop. When you are no longer doing what you consider to be a wrong thing here on the planet Earth, what is the perception that lies within this attitude? You are not doing it because of your beliefs. So, you are still bound by all those beliefs. You are not doing it because today you realize you have the perception of what is true, what is untrue, you are on the correct path. You are on a non-correct, I would say, effective path. But if you don't do your attitudes with these perceptions, everything becomes a habit again. So, many times, you don't perform that act that you consider to be shameful, that I would never do, but not because of a perception of truth, but because of a habit generated through a belief. So behold, you must always be in this process of self-improvement, because today these insights are very necessary for all of you, because everything in your lives, yes, it becomes a habit. But if you generate habits based on true perceptions, they are habits that are favorable to you. They are already habits that are working within the energy of light. But if you are still within habits generated by beliefs of what is right and what is wrong, this habit is not favoring you, no matter how you think it is a favorable habit for you. So, if this habit of being kind, being generous, let me put in this way, is based on this perception of truth, it is within the energy of love. If it is within your belief of right and wrong, it is within a habit generated through this critical science that you are still carrying. So see, these changes, they are important for you. Because if you keep these habits generated on these beliefs, you cannot break free from the beliefs. Because there is a whole form of being structured through these beliefs. So, it is necessary that you develop perceptions of what you are doing. So that you, through these perceptions, using these perceptions as tools, generate changes in your being to get free of these limiting beliefs that are running your lives today. At first, it may seem, I will say, complicated to you. But you see, it is complicated because you want to mold this explanation of mind into a rational mind. That's why it is complicated. So, simply accept my guidance. Accept that this guidance will bring about the result you are wishing, which is to free yourself from your limiting beliefs. And as always, do the work of developing your perception in the silencing of your being. 
all the work that is done to change, all the work that is done using the tools that we bring to you, it is always done through a silencing of the self. Always. Always it is through a silencing of the self. So, develop these insights into the silencing of the self. And always be vigilant. But what does it mean to be vigilant? I see that here inside of you, being vigilant is totally wrong. You think that to be vigilant, it is to always have your mind alert. To be always with your mind attentive, rationalizing, functioning this mind. No, this is not how you are vigilant. From the moment you, through your rational mind, have given a direction to your work, the direction has already been given. Now, being vigilant is no longer rationalizing. It is simply being open to receive our energies. It is being open to what you here know as intuitions. It is being connected to God. This is being vigilant. It is always being connected to God. And in this way, you will always be open to receive our energies. You will always be on this path of changing your own being. And you will perceive changes in your life. So, always be connected to our energy. So, this means to be aware in your being. This means to be vigilant. Because when you start rationalizing, you have disconnected from our energy. You have disconnected from God's energy. So, from the moment you start to watch yourself through your rational mind, you are only working within your own belief. And as you work within your belief, what does this mean? That this belief is more and more active in your life. Because when you are working within your beliefs, you are calling the belief to work. So, it comes to work because that is its job, to work for you. So, it comes to work. That is why you must not do it this way. Because otherwise, you will never be free of these limiting beliefs. Because you are always asking them to work. So, it will always be active in your life. So do the activity in the way that I, Master Seraphis Bay, indicate to you. Get used to doing it this way. You have to train. You must train to always stay connected to the mind of God. To always stay connected to our energy. To always stay connected to your Master Tanaka. And this is what all of you are missing. To connect to our energies. Always remember, always keep alive in your mind that you are here through Master Tanaka's energy. So, keep that connection with your Master Tanaka always present in your life. Always remember this. Take this connection with your Master Tanaka as a direction for your lives. By keeping this connection, you will create a trust within you because you trust your Master Tanaka. So, if you keep the connection with him, you trust that your life is directed towards the light. So, always remember this and keep this connection alive in your being. With this guidance, with much love, with much gratitude, I bid you farewell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.